So I know I am normally quite brave about going live and making an idiot of myself, but I thought as I haven't actually done this before, I will do it on video first. And if it's any good, I'll share it with you. So if you're watching it, then it obviously was a good result. So, um, Fleur have um, some amazing pouring mediums. And what's really nice about them is they are very, very liquid, very liquid, almost like, I wanna say like water almost, which means that you get some really, really nice effects. They have three bases. So they have the standard pouring medium that you mix 50-50 with your paint and you can do all your different things with it. We'll go through some of those later. They have one called uh, marbling, which gives a different effect, as in, gives a more marbled effect. I'm gonna test that out in a minute. And then they have one called oxidizing, which you use with all the um, two-part reactive copper and rust effect paints. Um, there is a fourth version, but it really is the same as the first, uh, which is obviously the standard pouring medium mixed with some cell activator. Okay, right, I'm gonna have a go. So I've got some boards here, and what I've done, I've primed them with Fleur's um, satin bar, no, gloss varnish, yeah? Gloss varnish, because I wanted to see, because you, you know, you need to give it a bit of slick. Now this has dried really, really quickly. I'm not sure if I was meant to keep it wet or not. Pfft, probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but I don't know. So anyway, here goes. So I'll, um, right, so I've mixed some colors up, my favorites. So I've gone for Copper Club, just love this copper. It's really, really bright, but honestly, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, I don't know about that, but actually I've used it on furniture and it's amazing. And then the best blue ever, Miss Petronilla. And then I just thought I better just do something ordinary with it, um, black. So your color choices are quite important. Um, I find if I use like kind of insipid colors, I just end up with an insipid result. So this better work. Okay, so what I'm gonna try is this one is um, I'm just gonna try them one at a time on top of each other. Let's see what happens. <laughs> right, okay, so let's start with the boring color. Let's start with the black. So you mix it 50-50. I actually marked on the bottom here where I, my resin was and then poured in the black because as I'm pouring, I seem to lose track of where I am. So it's quite weird because that actually isn't that black. It seems to have lightened it, but let's see how, how it goes because you know some, some colors are gonna work better than others. So you could do your traditional flip or all, th all those different things that you can do where you can put them in a, a jar, you know, a jug or whatever, layer up your colors, um, you know, put it on your board, flip it, um, start one end from the other and go like, you know, do, do that sort of thing. But I just fancy trying, just tipping it in the middle, sit, putting one on top of the other, like color up and just seeing what happens. I'll tip you down a little bit. You'll probably fall on the floor, no my luck. There you go, let's start with a bit black. So this is just the standard pouring medium. So I'm gonna pour. Now look how runny that is. Woo! And I'm using a plastic lid from um, uh, the top of a storage container. Tony probably go mad and say, what have you done that for? Anyway, I don't care, he's not here. It's Saturday, I'm here on my own. We shut of course, lockdown. Okay, right, now here goes Miss Petronilla again. This isn't as bright as what Miss Petronilla looks like in the jar. Okay, so I'm just gonna tip it straight in the middle of. Let's see what happens. Ooh, pretty. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. And now I'm gonna do the copper club. Copper club, copper club. This looks like a, okay, actually, looks really good. Looks, although I have given it a really good stir. You do need to stir them well especially the metallics. Stir the metallic in the jar first before you put it in here because there's all, often a lot of separation with the metallics because the pigments are pretty heavy. I can already see some interesting little things going on. Right, now I'm gonna pour some copper right in the middle, but over one side. Is that more artistic to do it like that? I don't know. Anyway, woo! Oh, yeah, a little artistic drop there. Okay, what do we think? So, I'm gonna pick this up and show you and now this is where the fun starts so you can pour it around and just see what happens i tend to find don't do too much tipping backwards and forwards otherwise oh you that is money otherwise you end up with um 
lots of sort of zigzaggy kind of things. Okay. So we're already getting some nice, sorry, you can't see because I'm chipping it up this way now. <laughs> and what you can do, if you don't feel like you've got enough paint on the board, like as I do, you can come in and add more around. So you can come back here, stir. Let's add a little bit of copper over here, because it's not enough, you know? Don't worry about the drops, they're all part of the fun. Let's get a bit more black going on over here. Let's do like a long, thin swipe. <laughs> I don't know why I keep making them stupid noises, but whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna put a bit more blue down here. Okay. And they do actually mix together, which is quite nice. Okay, let's tip. And then what I'm gonna do, so you could mix your cells in, the cell, um, medium um you could mix it in with one of the colors all of the colors but what i'm going to do is i saw them doing it um the fleur people on instagram they flipped it on the paint and i thought oh i'm going to give that a go so that's my next plan is i'm going to do that in a minute but in the meantime i'm going to try and add and my feeling is although that is really thin look look how thin that is if i had um kept the varnish wet I think it would have gone even further so let's try and put a bit more paint around here I, can't, I love this blue okay Some black let's go for it. someone said the other day they like watching my lives because they always go wrong cheers <laughs> oh yeah so I'm, this is intentional Get a bit more black going right i'm going to get a bit more of a, a tip and then i'm going to get some um pouring resin that's why that tray's there okay Ooh. so you kind of just let it do its thing so you can get some hang on i don't want to get paint on the camera uh look some really interesting little uh, effects going on right Okay, so don't worry, I won't waste all this, all the uh, overpaint. I keep some, they're not actually, what well, I keep coasters normally. And with the coasters, I normally uh, pick up all the excess paint and make some coasters out of them. So right, let's get some um, cell. No, that's it, that's it. What's this one? Cell medium. See, I think of this as like an additive, but they are actually calling it a medium. Oh no, I thought the car would open then. No, my luck. Now, I'm going to sort of, I don't know, I suppose I need an eyedropper or something, but I haven't got one. So I'm going to splash it on. And it's watery enough. See, I think if you do this, I know people have used, used silicon to create cells with, but if you use silicon, it's actually quite thick and greasy. So it, it tends to sit on the top and uh, doesn't, it sits on the top and just leaves a kind of greasy film that you have to remove afterwards. Okay, well, I can't see anything happening with those cells, but I'm sure it will. I think it's one of those um, processes. Oh, here we go. I can start to see things happening. Um, one of those processes is that sometimes it's better to leave things to work. I'm just gonna mess around and put a bit more paint in some of these areas. Just kind of feel like I want to layer it up a little bit more with paint. Got up a bit more copper in that, haven't you, really? Look at this stuff. Oh, I don't know what, I might sort of run it in lines. Oh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, you go. Ooh. That's it. Lines. Yay. Okay. It's like being a playgroup or something. Anyway, right, let's tip this up and get some of this moving and let's see what happens with these cells. So I'll need to try it. I can actually see the cell medium like running across the surface. So maybe it did actually need to be in with the paint. If, you know, the thing about um, doing these sort of projects is they're not, um, it's not precise science. It's experimental. So you can't plan how this is gonna come out. 
the only thing you really have got control over is what colours you use. Can you see it sliding? So. Right, okay, so I'll try another one in a minute. Same colours. And I'm going to put the cells, the cell medium in the paint. But I've also got a feeling that if I leave this to one side, I'm going to uh, find that I'm going to come back and there's going to be cells appearing. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this on a bit of cardboard. Look, I'm organised, I had it ready. I'm going to stick this on a bit of cardboard over here. I probably could do it standing it on some cups or something, give it a chance to drip. In fact, that's what I will do, but I'll put the cardboard underneath. I've got some more boards here. Okay, right, hold on, let's get some cups. I'll stand that on a couple of cups so that it gets the opportunity to drip off. Okay, are you there? Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at the, even that's nice, isn't it? To pick them off and make them into earrings or something. Anyway, right, let's do another one. And this time, um, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to put the varnish on straight away. And I'm going to put the cell medium in some of the colours. I think I'm going to put it in the metallic. Let me get a brush. So this is Fleur's, um, sat not satin, gloss varnish. They do a matte, a satin and a gloss, okay? I've got a lot to speak Italian, it sounds so much better. How do you say this? Bernice Lucido, Lucida? I don't know. Anyway, definitely need some Italian lessons. Okay, so I'm gonna paint my board with this. There's actually bits of fluff stuck in it, but who cares? Don't get covered by the paint. I'm actually in the middle of upholstering a chair at the moment, so sometimes having different projects going at the same time. Kind of. Oh! Right, so that is wet. I'm going to put some cell medium in the copper. Okay. Really nice little jars they come in as well. Um, so it won't be very expensive to do and put tons in there. That's going to be an absolute disaster, I'm sure. Oh, it's sort of sitting on the top. Yep. Well, this is why I'm recording this and not doing it live. Okay, so let's do a similar thing. Right, so it, it, you can create different patterns. You can do, you know, sort of in a spiral, zigzaggy. So I'm going to try pouring in lines. I saw them doing that, it looked pretty cool. For those of you who are, who are old enough, do you remember Vision On? This reminds me of that. What was the music? <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna kind of overlap. Yeah, and that drop was intentional. Okay, now the copper with the, it's got probably way too much because of course I just tipped it, the cell medium. And the cell medium, like the pouring medium, is um, really, really liquidy. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pour it on top. How about if I go the other way? Okay. Oh, pouring, I can see the cells, the cell stuff. It's sort of sitting on the top. Okay. Having a look over here. Right, quite like that as it is. So let's do some tipping. Ooh. Wow, that's quite interesting. You can sort of see. Can you see that kind of the, the liquid running off? That is the cell, the, yeah, the cell medium. Let's see. I really like using a metallic in pores with paints because they've already got, um, you know, they're, they're interesting already and they kind of, separate and give you extra bits of reflection and things going on so oh. let's see oh i'm liking this 
Now, I've never done it on the diagonal like that before, but that seems to be working quite well. And we're getting a nice coverage on our board. So I think maybe it is working with the varnish underneath. It doesn't seem to be a problem in the slightest. So let's go this way. Okay. Cell medium, are you working? I have yet to see anything. Right, I'm just going to put some more colour, you know, where I think it's needed. And a little bit on the edges. Right, let's get a couple of cups here. Because even though I've got this plastic tray, this, this is just asking for trouble and I'm going to end up in disaster here. Right, I'm going to put them there. Oh, I want these three. These three makes far more sense. Right, I've done three. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do is put some more around the edge. And then I'm going to flick some more cell medium. Um, on the top as well and see what happens so I only put the cell medium in the copper because I kind of like that idea of just doing it in one of the colours okay so I'm just going to play about with and then actually let's drop some more copper in Because this is the stuff we were selling. So let's. Come. You don't have to cover all your board. What you can do as well is think about the cut background colour of the board and go with that too. Ooh. Right now, I'm going to drop a bit of more of the cell medium. So this is yeah, that's the one. Okay. So I am starting to see some stack cells, but it won't hurt to try and get some more with it. Oh yeah, so some nice stuff going on over in the corner here with the black. Okay, I don't know if you can, I'll, I'll tip it up, hang on, I'll do a bit more tipping before I bring it up to the camera a bit more. Okay, Ooh. yeah, it's getting messy. I watched, um, I don't know what her name is, um, the lady from Fleur, Fabio's sister in fact, and she was doing this this morning live on Instagram in a beautiful pair of black leather trousers and she didn't get a drop on her. I'm just like that so impressed. Okay, ooh, ooh, nice. Sorry, let's turn it around so you can see some of what's happening. Okay, what lovely shine on it as well. Wow. Some really lovely bits going on there. Right, hold on, I just want to fill in those. It's really annoying, isn't it? I just want to fill in those white bits. No, it's what my hands definitely have to go on the apron. Okay. So I'm just going to... Literally, I really like this because when I've done it before with other uh, pouring mediums, if you went and added anything in extra like this, it would show, it would sit on the top and you could see, well, I could tell that it was bits that were added in. So I'm liking this, that you can do this. Always a disaster when I do anything. Yeah, I've just spilt the cell medium all over the floor. So, rather than waste it, I'm gonna flick it on. Because now I'm pissed off. It smells like, um... <sighs> please tell me I haven't used the wrong thing. No, it's the right thing. I was gonna say it smells like their citrus wax remover cleaner. For a second, I thought I was using the wrong product. Okay. A little bit more of a tip to get those bits in and sorry it's really boring if I keep turning it away but I can't seem to do it though okay so 
I'm going to just sort of run my fingers along the edges here. You know, see, perhaps if I'd worn gloves, that might have been a good idea. What do you reckon? Should I've used gloves? Of course. I'm going to fill that white bit in. Okay, right, hold on. And run it down here, run it along there. There's a bit there that's not. Just mess it all in. Right, okay. I do not know why. Look at that now. Why well, we've not got any cells, but look at the lovely sort of bits going on. What I'll do, I'll start a new video for using the marble and a new video for the rust and copper patina. And I'll take some pictures because no doubt when we come back, I bet you there will be some cells that will develop. I think if I use a, a, a dryer on it, I'll get more cells out. So I'll do that. I won't do it live. On the video because um, it's noisy you have to be careful when using a hairdryer you really want just the heat and not using the air to dis well you could if you wanted to but it's not great as in it causes ripples so i'm going to do that and i'll post you some pictures so uh here's the one from earlier nothing that exciting on that and if i pick that up it's still moving I can still move it, which is quite incredible that you can do that. So I'll, what I'll do at the end of this, I'll post some pictures as well. Okay, see ya.